Hi guys, uh, my name is Ayman Al Zuhairi, and I will go through mechanics of materials uh, course. Uh, in this course, we will learn more about materials and the stress, strain, mechanical uh, properties of materials. Uh, before starting this course, I would like to highlight a very important point. If we have any structure, whatever this structure, truss, beam, frame, whatever, uh, you have to keep in your mind, we have external load on this structure. You are external load on the structure. If you are sitting here, you are considered external load. This external load will create internal forces in every part of the structure. Internal forces in forms of axial force, shear force, bending moment. And you should learn more about this during the engineering mechanics course. Uh, these internal forces in the form of axial force, shear force, bending moment can be used to calculate your stresses, can be used to do your design. In this course, we are going to use the internal forces in forms of axial force, shear force, bending moment to create stresses. What are the different types of stress? What are the different types of strain? And how to calculate these stresses? We will cover this in this course. Moreover, uh, if you have external load like this strain, we should expect deflection, deformation, of the building because we have internal these internal forces so the topics that will be covered in this course i will start with statics review engineering mechanics review uh, and i will start with introduction to stress stress and strain what is the meaning of these expressions stress and strain Mechanical properties of materials, especially for steel as a material or tactile or brittle material. Uh, axial loads, torsion, bending. Uh, in this chapter, we will cover the uh, normal stress uh, and uh, the composite cross-section. Transverse shear, how to figure out the shear stress distribution, how to figure out the shear flow distribution in a cross section. Combined loading, if we have all of them, axial force, torsion, bending, and the shear, all of them together, this is called combined loading. Then, how to make transformation for your stress and strain. If you have a value for stress, shear stress, normal stress, whatever the type of stress, how to make transformation to figure out the maximum or the principal stresses. How to design your beam, your shaft, how to calculate the deflection of a beam or shaft. And finally, the final topic in this course will be buckling of columns. If you have a column under compression, this column will be uh, subjected to buckling. So upon completion, completion of this course, we will be able to calculate stress, strain, deformation of materials subjected to axial, torsion, bending, and transverse loading, and also combination of all of them. Uh, Atalize the stress strain uh, curve for determining the mechanical properties of various materials, especially for steel uh, materials. Atalyze stress transformation equations and the more circle to determine the principal stresses and the maximum shear stress. Analyze uh, beams and the columns and determine the shear bending, deflection, and the buckling loop. The recommended textbook for this course, Mechanics of Materials for Hebler 11 uh, version. Uh, this textbook is very good for this course.